Alright, so today I'm going to go back to a topic that I had a while back, August 30th to be exact, and it was basically the Scuff Infinity versus the Xbox One Elite controller. Now, let me recap because I think there's been a ton of mixed reviews, you know, either people like what I said or they did not, so I'm going to restate what I said, except this time I'm going to uh, add some more information. How about that? Kind of clear up loose ends. I see, I rewatched the video, and I understand what I did wrong. Now, first of all, let me get this out of the way. If you haven't already figured out, I am speaking from a Call of Duty player's perspective. As in, I don't know what game you're playing. If you're buying a Scuff or an Xbox One Elite for Halo, um, Fallout, like whatever game that you're playing Battlefield, it makes a big difference. I think from the games that I've played, scuffs really don't make too much difference in any other game except Call of Duty. Um, I did play with a scuff in Battlefront and I found myself going for the A button more than I did the paddle. And f furthermore, I never really went to the A button at all. I almost never jumped in that game unless I was hitting RB to uh, rocket boost onto the top of a mountain or something like that. But the scuff versus Xbox One Elite. Now, I said that the Elite controller comes with a chance that it could be banned during certain games. Now, where I'm getting this information, it's definitely not confirmed, it's never been denied, it's basically a hunch that I have, and a way for me to kind of put this into perspective for you guys is they know, your Xbox knows what you are using, whether it's an Xbox 360 controller, if I mean not a 360, but an Xbox One controller, or like an off-brand Xbox One controller, and in this uh, chance, it is the Elite controller. It will know that you have an Elite controller plugged in. It will not say Xbox One wireless controller. It's going to say Xbox One Elite wireless controller. The Xbox is going to know what you have. Now, with a scuff, the Xbox just knows that you have a regular Microsoft licensed controller. It knows that it's going to get updates for that, and so on and so forth. But with your console knowing that you have an Elite controller, you do run the risk of if a game says, okay, we are not going to allow Elite controllers in our game. As in, let's just say a new game pops up. What's a good name for a title? I don't know, Lava Warriors, all right? So let's say Lava Warriors comes out with a game, right? And it looks good. You want to play it. And you have your Elite Controller, and they say, you know what? We're not going to allow the Elite Controller because that's cheating. You should not be able to use your paddles on the back. Everyone should have a fair advantage. Bans Elite Controller. That is a very, very strong possibility. I'm not saying that Call of Duty is going to do it. I'm just saying that there are games and they have this ability to ban a controller from a game. Now, Call of Duty, this is where I'm getting this, is, you know, there's a big competitive scene. And everyone knows you can use a scuff and competitive, but now with this Xbox One Elite controller, I'm thinking that it's not going to change on COD. Like, I didn't say that saying, yes, it's going to change, you're not going to be able to use your Elite controller. I'm basically saying that if a game wants to ban it, they can. If Because your console knows what you're playing. It's a simple, simple thing to put into a game. If the Xbox has Elite Controller, then pop up a message and say, Sorry, you cannot use your Elite Controller on this game. Now, I do know sales would probably go down for that game because with this new Elite console coming out, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to have the Elite Controller. Now, next is the cost. I got so many comments saying, but the Xbox Elite Controller, if you go onto the Scuff Infinity website and you add all the stuff, the Infinity comes out to be more. Very true. It comes out to be about $190, I'd say about $200 in the end. And while the Xbox One Elite controller is 150 that price doesn't change. Now, let me tell you why you're paying $100 or $200 rather than $150. So, let's say you bust your Xbox One Elite controller. Well, you have to call Microsoft, and hopefully you got it from GameStop, 
or better yet hopefully you did not get it from GameStop hopefully you got it from Walmart GameStop will say oh man have you had it for 30 days yeah oh there's nothing that we can do or better yet they'll say have you had it for 14 days and you're, you're gonna say yes and they're gonna ha say you know we can't do anything but Walmart you know they say they have a 90 day warranty but they pretty much take back anything all the time so you have to call in and I don't know about you guys but I have had never one time in my life have I called Microsoft which I've had to call them a lot my 360 used to act up the controllers I don't even want to tell you how many controllers I've been through and never one time did I get down to okay we're gonna send you a fresh controller or we're gonna fix your problem it's more or less like here let me transfer you here what's your email we'll email you and it's just uh, an ordeal like it never happens and I've needed to replace a power supply for my 360 and it like it just overheated like it completely burned out and it was definitely not my fault and I haven't even had the console like I don't know uh, maybe three or four months and I was talking to them about it and they were just like yeah well it normally doesn't do that so we can't do anything for it and that's something that you're gonna run into with the Xbox One Elite controller and I'm sorry if you guys can hear some dogs in the background I think I don't know someone's dying or something but the scuff infinity let's just talk about scuff no matter what you could throw your controller across the room smash it on a wall and send the pieces back you will get fast customer service and they will send you back a brand new controller now granted that's gonna take a while because here comes into the next part that I didn't talk about the uh, let's just go ahead and talk about the Xbox controller Xbox Microsoft everything comes off an assembly line into a box no if ands or buts about it it just gets sent straight to you and it's quick like that you can get two day shipping you can go to a store and buy it you can get that thing on demand but what you're not getting is quality I mean yes you're getting quality because they use metal instead of plastic and it just kinda overall aesthetically looks better but just know that controllers coming straight off a conveyor belt right into a box right to your house now let's look at scuff every single controller is handmade every single one they install the paddles they remap everything handmade that's why it takes so long and better yet they play a game using your controller and they then they test it out everything works they send that thing to you they check everything and I think that's really cool I think whenever a company goes that deep into working with and wanting you to have the best possible gaming peripheral I think it's a hands-down win to scuff I mean yes if you're wanting to pay 200 to get exactly what the Xbox has you can but let me tell you you will never ever ever need four paddles for Call of Duty unless you're a a trick shotter or B you're just bored you're so good at the game and you've got to add some challenge to your life because two trust me you're gonna get that controller and you're gonna hate it for the first I would say for about the first week it took me a little under a week to get it but I'm fast to learn stuff but other people have taken like a month or two months to break into it I think it took me about five days and on my fifth day I kind of just woke up and it was good so you do not need four paddles so right there knock off fifteen dollars or more I don't even know how much four paddles are and second of all you do not need EMR you don't need to remap your entire controller anytime you want those sticks are gonna be A and B that's what you want them for remember Call of Duty perspective so don't be hating if you're playing Halo and you're like oh no I need it for RBLB so I can knife or whatever like this is for Call of Duty and all you need to do is be able to prone and jump at will that's it and you know a lot of people don't think I like that they're like you know what I want to remap it I want all these features but you'll never use it and honestly I did not even buy the scuff infinity I got the scuff one because a it was twenty dollars cheaper and B I don't even need to remove the thumbsticks like I got stock thumbsticks and that is good enough you 
will never need the scuffed dome sticks or need like long sticks and stuff. They make control freaks for that. So remember that. And I know this has been a long video, but I needed to get it out. So if you guys have anything else you want me to touch on, uh, like something I missed maybe, please let me know in the comment section. But hopefully I answered all the questions. I'm just going to do a quick scroll through of the comment section real quick. And that's about it you know the only thing that you need on your scuff are trigger stops and the paddles and get full grip in the back i think it's like pro grip plus scuff grip and i think that even comes with the trigger stops now and that's about it you do not need to change the colors you don't you don't need pink buttons no one's going to see your controller but you and that's all you need just improve your game it's gonna make you really good at Call of Duty I can tell that my gaming has went up a couple notches since I've gotten this and I cannot wait till Black Ops 3 so I will see you next time